All right, all stocked up. Just uh, packed the fridge and the cupboard with food. And um, I got gas across the street here for 243 a gallon. Again, cheapest yet. Because it may be a while till we see civilization type stuff. But it's got to get it done. It's going to Nebraska today. Before long, I'm gonna have to start using the Dash AC here. Today's a warm day. Warm day. Back on the Lincoln Highway though. I see Quirky all over the place. Are you kidding me? Let me talk to this gentleman over here, make sure it's okay if I look around and film. Before we get started, <laughs> I am just sitting down to edit the video and I cannot believe it. Of the first four clips that I shot, Three of them have no audio at all. The fourth one is an eight minute clip where even though the microphone was plugged into the GoPro, it recorded the onboard microphone instead and has wind noise and clicking sound and everything. There's too much happening in that eight minutes to just delete the entire thing. So the first part of this video is gonna be with really crummy audio. I'm sorry, it is literally time to drop GoPro. It is so, it's killing me. It is killing me on the road and ruining everything. But anyway, I'm sorry about the audio in this video, guys. Just got done talking with the property owner here, the self-proclaimed pack rat and tinkerer, Melvin Gold. He didn't want to be on camera, but he wanted to tell me a little bit of the history of all the stuff that he's put together. So we're going to look at some of his quirky yard art here, and then we'll get back on the road. Like the UFO there, and Mr. Elephant here. He just makes whatever he feels like making with whatever he has available. Looks like somebody's grandma. Look at that scorpion there. Wow. There's Melvin there on his rig. <laughs> and this looks like a horse. Yeah. I love people that tinker with stuff. They come up with the funniest stuff. Cowboy on a bike here. I mean, look at this gentleman's yard. The wild thing. This pole is dedicated to those in the military who have served our country who are serving now and will serve in the future. Yeehaw! Buckaroo and Mr. Springs. <laughs> Look at this giraffe made out of a 55 gallon oil drum. The Goodyear blimp. Okay, wait, what is all this? <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Mr. Cranky, because he's cranking. The Wiggly Bobbly. Look at that, there's even a person and a dog in that plane. Yeah, it's chilling in there. That's a vehicle I have never seen before. Is that a tow truck? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it just goes and goes and goes. A six person bicycle. Just awesome collection of junk. In fact, he's used these old culverts as uh, tops to make custom sheds out here. So I bet they get a lot of snow here in the winter. <laughs> anyway, really friendly guy here. Uh, he just doesn't like to be on camera, but he will talk your head off. We gotta go that way. Let's get back on the highway. All right, and now off we go. Blue skies ahead. It is time to hit a new state. I don't know if there will be an opportunity to stop at the state welcome sign. If there is one, I don't even know yet. Uh, we shall just see what we find. Yeehaw! Pretty good feeling, guys. Guess what? A new state for the nomadic fanatic. I have never been to Nebraska in my life. Um, pretty excited. Nebraska, the good life home of Arbor Day. And uh, just like uh, uh, Michigan last year, I, no, yeah, last year, I don't know what to expect. I know I want to go find a campground, make sure, because if Nebraska doesn't have good campgrounds, and there's no sense being here. And I don't know how much quirky we're gonna find in Nebraska either, but we'll see. I'll show you what I find. 
And I know this is going to seem really anticlimactic, but I searched everywhere. I cannot find the sticker for Nebraska, West Virginia, Hawaii, and Alaska. I cannot find them anywhere. It has been so long. I really did look, but I don't have a sticker to put up there right now. But in my mind, we have filled in that gap at least. I'll keep looking. We'll see. Yep, we're off the highway now and back on original Lincoln Highway here in Nebraska. Um, kind of following some train tracks over here as well, but uh, otherwise it looks like just a bunch of farmland. Lots of cows, horses, sheep, probably chickens too. Um, there is a campground just right up here, about eight minutes uh, east of here. The first free campground in Nebraska, that's where I'm heading to. And uh, Sorry about the windshield, but all these bugs happen just inside uh, Nebraska and just on this back road here, Lincoln Highway. Um, as for tornadoes, just want to point that out. I am aware that this is not the best time to be in Nebraska because 75% of Nebraska tornadoes happen between May and July. So just understand that I'm aware of that, but I'm also in an RV. It's turnkey and go. So my phone's weather app is probably not going to be able to tell me anything if I don't have service. Anyway, um, I'll be safe, guys. If there's a threat, I can turn the key and drive away or drive to where it's safe. So I will not put myself or Jax or the RV in danger. Don't worry about that. And as for what we're going to find in this state, no clues. I think this is us, Oliver Reservoir. Brakes are still doing great. That's awesome. Hmm. Let's see, this sign says all campers must register. Donations accepted. Otherwise, let me go make sure. It looks like there is like nobody here at all. Camping is free for 14 days. They do accept donations to be mailed in and you fill out the registration after you get parked. Pets are allowed, no alcohol on the property. So I don't know uh, how long I'll stay here, but let's go try to find a nice spot by the water. So these are the campsites starting off to the left. Spot 38. Looks like lots of trees and grass. Wait a minute. Ooh, what's down here? Oh my gosh, look at this little corner spot. Right by the water. And there's geese and ducks. Jacks! Jacks, man! Whoa! Well, I'm parked. Here at Site 42. So this is Nebraska, huh? I pretty much feel this pretty much the same welcome I got when I finally got to Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I really do. Huge, huge campsites here. 70 degrees, sunshine, solar, camping right here on the Oliver Lake. Not a whole lot of people here. Thank you for being open. Thank you. And thank you for the warm, warm welcome, Nebraska. I filled out my registration card, already put it in the slot for five days. Don't know for sure if I'm gonna actually stay here five days, but I wanted to wanted to reserve it for five, then I wrote or sooner departure day. But gosh, I got Wi-Fi here, and this is probably the last day in Nebraska I'll have Wi-Fi until I get all the way to Omaha, some 460 miles away. So do a little bit of planning and research as far as Lincoln Highway type stuff, I think, while I'm here for the next few days. 
I'll take the motorcycle off the back and probably take that into town a few times or explore. And uh, this will just be home. This will be home for, for a few days here while I take in everything Nebraska has to offer. Nice campground. Nice free camping. Free campground. Right? So, not paying 50 to $60 a night and being side by side with another RVer without a view, but for free, get this instead. How about, yes please. Yes please. I just uh, went on quite a little ride around here. This reservoir campground at Oliver Lake is huge. This is just one entrance. There's like six different entrances along the water where you can camp all the way down there. It's all part of the same thing. So quite possibly there's lots of spots like this. I just, this was the only one that was close to the water in this section and it was open because this may very well be the most amazing free campground in the country. I keep looking for a reason to not like this campground as much as... Oh. Oh, you just had to say something, Eric. Okay. Well, apparently there's trains nearby, but... <laughs> Train horns don't, don't bother me at all. I would sleep right through them. But, so, my campsite is behind me. And see this building right here? We'll go walk to it. You guys know I keep my eye out for specific stuff all the time at campgrounds and when I rode the bike through here I noticed that right there oh. <laughs> hey Nebraska you rock talked to the uh, camp host over there he said all of the blue handle ones around the park are tested every year for the water. It is potable drinking water. So, I mean, I'm actually already filled up. I filled up at the rest area in Wyoming yesterday, but nice to have. I can top off on the way out. Actually sitting in the shade, just cause it's a little warm in the sun actually. Shade feels great. Yeah, there's a woodpecker somewhere. I keep hearing him. Check out my view though. Now you see why I just want to sit here. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Got the RV getting lots of solar here late afternoon. Yeah. Definitely going to stay here and just enjoy the quiet peacefulness of the campground. Anyways guys, just wanted to point out that ever since I started having the problems with the GoPro randomly having no audio at all, every single time I have shot a clip in the last 30 days, as soon as I'm done recording, I replay that to make sure there is audio. I have been doing that. I don't know why it's stored video without any audio. I can't tell that it's from the microphone or the onboard microphone. I'm actually filming it on my Canon right now instead. but. Um, I am going to fix the GoPro issues, I promise. So, lesson learned. That was a hard lesson. I'm really sorry about the audio at the beginning of this video. I will fix it soon. I will make sure it doesn't happen again, guys. Have a good night. Jackson, I'll see you on the road in a couple days. Bye-bye.